guess what? You are in my shoe closet. This is every girl's dream, definitely mine. And I have so, so much to share with you. These are my shoes that all have a story and through the years, talagang collection ko to. And um, minsan lang talaga ako magpakita ng mga kagamitan ko. But this is something that you guys requested. So your wish is my connect. Enjoy and welcome to my shoe closet. First up, I want to uh, share with you my love for, of course, Louboutin. These are the heels or the shoes that first really caught my fancy. This is interesting for me because living out in France, I saw his very, very first boutique in Paris and I learned about him in fashion history class. He has such a, a naughty side to him. I've never met him, but this is definitely a brand and a designer that I really adore and really keeps my interest because it starts with cabarets in Folie Berger and then of course later on I would watch uh, crazy horse shows. It's a very naughty, very sexy cabaret and um, they were all wearing Louboutin heels. So he has the classic red lacquered sole which has a story then. So okay, yung red ng Louboutin, yung red sole ng Louboutin, I find it so interesting, super trivia to because when Christian Louboutin was younger, apparently he had an assistant na nakita niya na nagpe-paint ng nails. Tapos red na red yung polish ng assistant. And when he saw the red polish, natuwa siya dun sa pagka-red ng nails ng assistant niya. Sabi niya, eh kung ilagay ko yan sa shoes ko. So dun nag-start. So guys, alam niyo na, it's signature Louboutin. This is something that he does and something that he fought for. And every time you see red soles, it is, you already know it's Louboutin. So, these are my very first Lubies. Of course, very impractical. <laughs> but so beautiful. And that's why I bought them. I bought them in Dubai. When I went to Dubai for work, we basically had like one day to go shopping. And this caught my eye because it's Spanish inspired. It's the Highness Sombrero Heels. And it really is art for me. I didn't think the outfit ko nung I bought these shoes. I just thought that it's so beautiful to make these shoes. Na to. And so it has that signature super dangerous dangerous Louboutin heel that I love. I really love the danger that Louboutin has in his um, designs. So ito yon, embroidered siya, gold, um, well I don't think it's real gold, but it's still gold colored embroidery with satin, yung black part, and velvet, yung parang maroon part niya. Napakaganda ng pagawa nito, and I so appreciate it. Matagal na to na sa akin, and hindi pa siya nasisira. Maybe kasi hindi ko rin na sinusot. <laughs> um, meron din akong Microchip heels. So these are also lady peep toes. These are the geek heels, tech friendly. <laughs> Embroidered din siya. And it has that um, signature red sole, but it is inspired by microchips. Katulad siya ng sombrero heels. It's really a collector's item, and I like to keep them there and I like to just look at them and see yung vision nitong si Christian Lubutan sa paggawa niya nito. But of course, I cannot naman begin my shoe collection without showing you the Lubutans I actually wear. And one of them is, these are my flats. Of course, leopard print. You've probably seen several leopard prints here. There was a time na obsessed na obsessed na sa leopard print. You saw it on TV. My hair commercial aired and I talked about my killer heels. Lubutan yon and leopard print din siya. I like these. Um, there's a laser cut and the heels are wooden. These are actually comfortable to wear. Meron din akong killer boots. Whenever I have to be on stage or when I go to an event, I like wearing these boots. Killer heels talaga to! Super dangerous heels. Para siyang weapon, di ba? Yan ang gusto ko kay Lubutan. Kahit na sexy, there's danger. Parang dangerous woman ni Ariana. These are my favorite Lubies to wear. Fast din kasi I'm only 5'4. So when I wear the heels, feeling ko nakabili ako ng height. Yun lang hindi ko mabili yung life talaga. <laughs> I can't buy height. These are, believe it or not, pang harabas shoes ko to. Oh 
song, I learned about pangharapas in What's in My Bag. It just means that day to night, no matter what activity, no matter what I do, if I run around, if I have to do errands or go to an event or all of the above, all in one day. This pair of shoes have brought me to so many events. And so, pag nasa labas ako ng bansa, either buhay America or buhay Europa, ibig sabihin, ikaw lahat talagang sariling sikap. And since at least ako, and ito nga yung ginagawa ko, I go to events. Pero apart from the events, meron ka pang kailangan gawin. Meron ka pang kailangan bilhing tubig sa grocery. Biglang tatakbo ka kasi may nakalimutan ka or whatever. So, minsan sabay-sabay yun. And whole day from 9am hanggang 12 midnight. Suot-suot ko tong shoes na to with no problem at all. And um, super comfortable siya. Kung pwede lang ako bumili ng 10 pairs nito na iba-ibang kulay gagawin ko. Kaya lang ito lang nata yung style. So, these are my new muse. And for some reason, mukha pa rin siyang bago. And that's what I love about it. Actually, this is something I would also wear to fashion week if you have to be running around it. You have to find um, heels or shoes that match everything and anything. These are my like secret weapon. I love this pair. This is my most prized pair only because it's so practical but does not look it. So it, it can do both. You know the girl that can do both? This is it. Pero of course, kung totoo sin, ito talaga yung pang probinsya. Pang probinsya! <laughs> Pang outdoors ko. Joke lang. Ito yung ano ko. Chinela. Ay, hindi pala. Chanela. Chanela. Sali. Pinanong ako, ano ang pinakamataas na heels na meron ako at ano daw ang story behind it. Ito talaga yun eh. Ready na ba kayo? Yes. Made in the Philippines to. Handmade especially for me. Bakit ako nagpagawa ng ganito kataas na heel? Nag-host ako ng binibining Pilipinas. At dahil ang liit ko, 5'4 lang ako. At ang mga contest na ito ay 5'10 yata. Tapos naka-heels pa sila. Siyempre, kailangan naman natin tumangkat ng konti. Diba? Siyempre, kailangan kong lumevel ng konti para maganda naman yung paghawa ko ng mic pag nagka-question and answer. So, Ito, hindi talaga ako makapaglakad with these heels kasi sobrang taas niya. I think it's 6 inches or 7. Siguro 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and a half. O sabihin na natin 6 and a half or 7 inches. So, kunyari 5'4 ako, 5'11 na ako pag sinuot ko to. Kaya lang guys, maliit pa rin ako. Kasi yung mga binbining Pilipinas, 5'10 minimum. So, pag nag 5 inch sila, 6 na. So, maliit pa rin ako. Panoorin niya lahat ng mga hinos ko na binibining Pilipinas. Mas maliit pa rin ako sa mga podcast. Eh. Pero at least, nakahabol ako. So, ito yung reason kung bakit. So, behind the scenes, nakachinelas lang ako going to the stage. Tapos, pag magro-roll na yung camera at magla-live na kami, tsaka pa lang isusuot sa akin ito. Pag nakatayo na ako. Kasi once na gumalaw ako, matatabilok talaga ako. So, ito na ang highest heels na meron ako. Made just for my pageant postings. <laughs> These are the classic Gucci sneakers, of course. Super nausito. But I think these are classic and timeless. I like the simple embroidery because this goes with anything and everything. It can go with a dress, it can go with a skirt, it can go with pants and shorts, with anything. So these will always be part of my collection. Okay, these. I have to give a special mention. I bought these actually in Newport, California. And these are a gift from Tita Dina. So you know who you are. Um, she's a supporter. And I would say she has become a friend. So I think that gifts apart from um, acts of service are my love language. And when people give me anything, even if they're simple things, um, it makes me really, really happy. It makes me feel um, that you remembered me and that it really, really, really means a lot to me. And so to have 
pairs of shoes um, given to me as gifts was very, very special. Of course, may superstition yung lola ko na pag binigyan ka ng shoes, dapat uh, magbabayad ka ng barya kahit 20 pesos magbibigay ka para uh, hindi mo sila iiwan. So, yun yung ginawa ko, even if she gave me these as a gift. Um, I love the colors, I love anything that has to do with this palette, with, you know, reds and um, old rose. And of course, this is very TV friendly and it's it's cute, it's blingy, and I still think they're classic. Pointy toes are always classic to me. So, thank you. Thank you for this. Okay, I've been showing you my lubies, I've been showing you my sneakers, but I also have a collection of boots. I fell in love with boots in Europe because every day we have boots lang kami doon because 80% of the year is cold, wet, and not sunny. So, uh, natuto talaga ako mag boots for five years of my life. Every day, boots and jeans, boots and dresses, boots and boots, 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 boots and boots and boots and boots. So, I have a lot of boots. I have ankle boots, I have knee high boots, I have thigh high boots, I even have my riding boots. I really love boots. I think that every woman should have timeless classics, whether they be sneakers, whether they be heels, or whether they be boots. You know, like there, there are certain pieces in our shoe collections that we really need to make sure we have all our lives. And one are investment boots. So these are not the most practical boots. These are not weather friendly, but these are knee-high black leather boots that you can wear with almost anything. These are my Gucci boots. But of course, I also have a simple classic pair of ankle boots. Wait, I will just do a little scavenger hunt here. I have these ankle boots na super easy to wear. These are usually the boots that I wear when I'm flying to Europe or flying abroad. It keeps my feet warm, but at the same time, it gives me height and it goes with anything. Hindi siya agaw pansin. These are some of my go-to ankle boots. So I got these in Paris on Rue Saint-Dominique, my neighborhood boot shop. These are my favorite Thaya boots. Because I can wear a boyfriend shirt or an oversized hoodie or something super simple. So, pwede siyang pang harabas din. Kasi madali lang talaga siya. You just put it on and one on the bottom, one on top, and then you go. You don't even need a car. You just need boots that are made for walking. And these are my boots of choice. So these are my half chaps. These are my riding protective wear. So these are my paddock boots. These are really just for horseback riding. And one of my hobbies is horseback riding. And um, nakikita niyo ako na minsan pinpost niyo mga riding lessons ko. I love riding. It's very therapeutic for me. I love horses. Naalala niyo ba guys na uso to? Yung Valentinos. Yung iba na benta na sa Casey's Closet. So, sorry guys. Mostly dito hindi ko ibibenta. But you might see a couple of pieces na later on will be up on Casey's Closet only because we will be launching a collection of pre-loved bags, shoes, and clothes from my closet for charity. Watch out for that. Yeah, I have the classics from like throwback days. So these are throwback heels. The classic tribute heels that everybody had once in their lives before. I still have these because they still go with anything. It's important to have nudes. Speaking of throwback, I have a pair of Manolo Blanix. Sorry! Sa sobrang luma na nito. Obviously, oh. Tingnan niyo naman. Obvious na marami na kaming pinagdaanan itong heels ko na to. Ever since 18 or 17 years old ako, ito na yung go-to heels ko. So guys, my very first luxury heels were Manolo Blanix. My grandma, Nita Elaine, and um, Carrie Bradshaw were my shoe icons. Um, my Lola, Mita Elaine, loved shoes, jewelry bags. She would always dress me up like her Barbie doll. Pag nakikita niya akong lalabas ako, minsan kapalitan niya yung damit ko kasi meron daw siyang something na mas bagay dun sa suot ko. And if I'm not mistaken, this might have come from her closet. I'm not even sure. Isa sobrang tagal na. Pero, 
Ito yung shoes na talagang nagdala sa akin from morning hanggang gabi kasi nga nag-aaral nga ako at the same time nagtatrabaho ako nung nasa koleyo ako. So, going to school, naka-heels kami lahat kasi wala kami uniform. So, syempre, express yourself through your clothes, you know, your fashion. So, this brought me to auditions. Mawa ko ng several musicals doon. Um, this brought me to school. This brought me to work. Nung nagtuturo ako ng English sa Chinatown hanggang mag-concierge ako. And then papasok ako bilang sekretarya. So, wala. Whole day ko talaga sa auto. And I must say, my next collection will be talaga. I'm really declaring it na talaga. Sobrang dream ko talaga to. Manolo Blahnix. They're so comfortable. And if there's one person I want to meet in fashion, one of them would really be Manolo Blahnik himself. He's a Spanish designer and his shoes are designed by him and him only. He does not have a battalion of designers unlike other shoe houses. But the next goal ko to, kasi as you can see, these are what? Like 15 year old pointy toes. And I still have them. I can still wear them. And so long tibay pa rin niya. I would love to meet Manolo Blahnik. But, you know, I don't know what the chances are that I would meet Manolo Blahnik. I'm such a fan, so I would love to just, you know, sit and have drinks with, with him and just like talk and laugh and, diba? Parang kausap ko na si Manolo Blahnik himself. Ma-manifest ko yan, one day magiging friend ko siya. But the most recent Manolo Blahniks that I bought were in Geneva. So you saw on my YouTube na nasa Geneva, Switzerland ako. And my friend Francesca and I went shopping at the Manolo Blahnik boutique and we bought these classic satin pink heels and I also have a nude version. So these are some prize Manolo Blahniks and some fancy schmancy Manolo Blahniks that I have in my collection. So apart from my Louboutins, I'm a big fan of Manolo Blahniks. Actually, more Manolo Blahniks now than Louboutins. I started loving Manolos because of one, my Nita, and two, because of Carrie Bradshaw. So Carrie Bradshaw of Sex in the City had Manolo Blahnik. She would run around New York, run around cobblestone streets. I thought I was Carrie Bradshaw growing up. I still do. So when I see Manolos, I think of Carrie. So there, that's one fourth, <laughs> one fourth of a shoe collection. I hope you guys enjoyed. Marami pa ako mga shoes na pwede ipakita sa inyo, but maybe next time, para may next time pa. And as much as you can, if you want, you know, you can splurge on like bags and shoes and clothes. I think the very first. Truthfully, I just want to encourage everybody to set goals first. Really just set your goals and work hard and earn money and save your money first. And whatever extra after you pay for all the things that you need to pay for and support the people that you need to support, then that's the time you splurge. And these are things that I really cherish. I, I don't take it for granted na nabibili ko yung mga hilig ko. As you know, somebody who enjoys dressing up and shopping, I still think that, especially in these times, it's so important to prioritize and to always, um, you know, have a goal and have dreams that you know that you want to turn these dreams into reality because you can, you can uh, do what your heart is set out to do, but you have to make a plan of action, you have to dream. Daydream, dream, and put your mind to it and work towards it every day. So if your dream is um, to buy a perfect pair of shoes that will last you a long time, of course a luxury shoe will really be timeless, hindi masisira agad, magla last for a long time. Good leather, a good brand, a good um, gawa niya dapat timeless at hindi madaling masira. And that's actually the basis of why biglang nagkaroon ako ng shoe collection. Ginagamit ko siya talaga and na-appreciate ko siya talaga. And every shoe has a story. They've been with me through every step of the way. Through my love life, through my career, through my school life, through my work life, through a lot of um, experiences, adventures. And yung journey ko in life, 
ay itong mga sapatos ng Queen mga suot-suot po at sumama sa akin at de ba nakipagsabayan sila sa akin sa lahat ng mga pagdaanan ko sa buhay so sentimental to lahat sa akin and when I see some shoes parang ko yung nagperform ako sa London ng suot ko yan o yung nagperform ako sa America ng suot ko yan ang dami kong naalala tuwing nakita ko sila natutuwa talaga ako naalala ko yung mga experiences ko tsaka yung dami ng mga nagawa ko sa buhay. At the same time, pag nakakita ko ng Louboutins, grabe, naiisip ko yung Crazy Horse Show. And then, nakikita ko lang yung red sole ng red na sapatos na sinusuot nila. And now, suot-suot ko na rin sila. So, feeling cabaret dancer na rin ako. And, you know, choose shoes na hindi lang dahil uso, but choose shoes that that are bagay sa'yo, na hindi rin masakit sa paa. At kung masakit sila sa paa, make sure it's worth the splurge, just like my Louboutins. Um, because, you know, these are like paintings. These are art. You know, designers like Louboutin, like Manolo Blahnik, they've put their hearts and souls and visions into their pieces. And as somebody who loves jewelry design and design in general, that means a lot to me. I really put my heart and soul into my jewelry pieces. And especially these designers that, you know, have built brands that have really stood the test of time. Okay, that's the moral of the story. But really, play and have fun. Just like me, I love to have fun and I love to enjoy life. Take big bites out of life. You guys. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye! Hey, loves! Everybody who just watched my vlog about my shoe collection, we want to inform you that on November 29th, there will be a fresh drop on Casey's Closet. The Instagram is at this is Casey's Closet, and over there we will be dropping luxury bags and luxury shoes pre-loved by me, coming from my own personal collection, and all of the proceeds that will be garnered on November 29th, and that week um, will go directly to the Typhoon Ulysses or Typhoon Vanco survivors, not victims, but survivors. So we will be using the funds or using your purchases or the proceeds to purchase uh, relief goods and also masks and alcohol for the people from these communities so we hope you support that you guys let's do our part to help our communities affected by the recent typhoons thank you and happy shopping you're still here well, since you're here, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell to stay notified for the next videos. <laughs> Bye. For real. See you later, guys.